Alright, so I think I'm slightly late to making this video since this incident that I'm about to talk about happened roughly about 4 days ago. That being said, this whole incident brings out a pretty interesting debate over some of the rules governing Hypixel Skyblock that I kind of want to discuss with you guys. So what exactly happened? Alright, so recently, an update was released to Hypixel Skyblock and a pair of beloved boots that was used by many people in the Hypixel Skyblock community got nerfed and hence became completely worthless. Alright, so as you guys know, there's a pair of boots that exist in Hypixel Skyblock called the Spirit Boots. Now these Spirit Boots have a really strange ability. You see, when you double jump, it allows you to glide around like a spirit. Yay, I guess? Not gonna lie, these pairs of boots seem pretty limited in its usability. Well, I think it actually had some use in Floor 4 of Dungeons, but come on, no one plays Floor 4 nowadays. Jesus. <laughs> However, with the recent release of Floor 7, these boots all of a sudden became extremely useful once again. You see, a bug was found on Floor 7 that if you wore these spirit boots right before you entered a Necron boss fight, you would gain the power of flight for the entire boss battle. Now this was extremely broken as it allowed you to do several things. In Stage 1 of the boss fight, you could skip the entire crystal parkour by simply flying across it. In Stage 2, you could fly and avoid all the mobs from hitting you, pretty much making you like a god. In Stage 3, you can actually fly ahead and complete the puzzles ahead of time in places you aren't even supposed to be in yet and in stage 4 it allows you to fly to the middle instead of needing to cross a dangerous lava lake to kill Necron. Yeah it's pretty broken. So yeah this pretty much resulted in pretty much every floor 7 dungeons player to buy a pair of these boots because of how overpowered it is and it just allowed you to finish the dungeon so much easier. The thing is if you didn't have these pair of boots most likely your dungeon teammates would just call you a burden so yeah sad life. <laughs> but unfortunately for us as you guys might know, recently the spirit boots bug was patched and now it no longer works. If you wear these boots into the floor 7 boss fight, you'll just be a dud. You can't fly. It doesn't work anymore. So because the bug got patched, it resulted in many floor 7 dungeons players immediately selling their spirit boots because, well, they're useless now. Like, what are you going to use them for? And, uh, well, whenever something like this happens, when people have a mad rush to sell their items, well, you can guess the price will crash on the auction house. When I bought my pair of spirit boots, it was nearly worth 5 million coins and now the lowest bin is only going for 2.3 million. That being said, if you still have the dream of being able, able to fly, fly, all hope is not lost yet. There is another pair of boots that can do the same thing. And that is the Tarantula Boots. These boots gives you the same ability as the Spirit Boots. However, to activate the flight ability from the Tarantula Boots is slightly more tricky. You see, for the Spirit Boots, all you really needed to do was simply wear them before you enter into the boss room. However, for the Tarantula Boots, you can't do that. What you have to do to activate the flight of tarantula boots is that you have to double jump as you enter the boss room which can be a little tricky to pull off so a simple way to do this is just to spam double jump right before your teammates enters the dungeon so you're confirmed to get this fly i think to pull off the tarantula boots trick you kind of need a couple attempts but after you do it a few times you'll most likely get it that being said before you go ahead and use the tarantula boots bug do be warned that this can be bannable i heard a couple stories of people getting wiped on stream for using these tarantula boots bug but then again to be fair pretty much everyone doing floor 7 dungeons are using them now and they can't ban all of us so yeah, this kind of brings me on to the debate that I was kind of talking about at the start of this video, which is, should abusing dungeon bugs be bannable? In my opinion, it should not be, and this is my reason why. You see, dungeons is actually a team game, and you kind of have to play with other people, and your teammates are kind of relying on you to do stuff and not fail. So when you're doing dungeon runs, you're kind of basically peer pressured into abusing these bugs, and if you don't abuse the bugs, basically none of the sweats would be willing to play dungeons with you. A good example of this would be bomb defuse. In order to do bomb defuse, you usually need two people to do it. However, if you abuse a bug with bomb defuse, you can actually just do it with one person solo. But the problem is, you are abusing a bug, so... <laughs> that being said, nowadays, if you can't do bomb defuse solo, most of the sweats will just leave the party after one game, and just nobody would want to play dungeons with you anymore, man. And yeah, so yeah, this whole thing becomes just really annoying, because it becomes a choice between playing with accordance to the rules, or having fun with dungeons, and risk getting banned. What makes this even worse is that as of right now, the rules aren't even clear. For example, with the spirit boots bug, apparently an admin claims that it was completely fine to abuse it. But for the tarantula boots bug, apparently people got wiped for using it. So like, is abusing dungeon bugs like bannable or not? Like we don't even know. And that just kind of makes this whole situation a huge mess. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that abusing dungeon bugs should be bannable? In my opinion, I don't think they are. But maybe you guys have a different opinion and you guys have different arguments. So do tell me what you guys think down in the comments. And yeah, with that being said guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys all next time. Have a good one. Peace out.
Make it hard.